Hello, all you lovely people. It's Brugly here, and today I'm gonna be explaining Backrooms Level 29, aka Hyperion. This one is a settlement deep in the mountains of a huge island, and it's a Backrooms level. If that sounds cool, then stick around for the explanation, which I'm gonna get into right now. Backrooms level 29 is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is triple U, or unsafe, unsecure, and has unknown entities. Off to a great start, right? The level is written in a pretty narrative style format, where one person is writing it and is documenting the entirety of the level. So I'm gonna try my best to summarize it in the Brugley way. Here we go. Level 29 is a landmass surrounded by oceans, so an island. And the island has huge, rough cliffs and sharp, jagged rocks that are made out of metal. And these metal-topped mountains kind of surround the people that live on the inside of the island from the people that live on the outside of the island. And they act as sort of a wall to protect the people that live in the villages. There are also multiple freshwater springs of almond water that flow down from the mountainsides to feed the people who live here. The oceans that surround the island are called the outer areas. The places on the island but outside of the mountains are called the outer circle. And the places on the island but inside of the mountains are called the inner circle. So pretty much people live in the inner circle and then unknown stuff lives in the outer circle. Inside of the mountains, there are small villages and towns and open farmlands that grow food. The huts that make up these towns are mostly made out of wood and the majority of people who live on this level live in these huts. Outside of the mountains, the main structures there are watchtowers that are supposedly there to guard against outside threats. And those outside threats are sometimes seen by people who venture outside of the safety of the mountains and they're described as quote, strange and enormous entities, so there's no telling what's out there. Even further outside of the mountains is the ocean that surrounds the island. The ocean itself is unnaturally strong and breaks almost every ship that's put into it. And the bad news for you is that the only exit is in the ocean, and no one can seem to get to it because the water just breaks the ship instantly. So you're pretty much stuck here for all we know. The people who live on the inside of the islands and inside of the mountain are split up into different groups who all live together pretty peacefully. Some of them have governments, some of them don't. It just depends on what you like. Now the main settlement in the very middle of the island is called Hyperia which is the level's name, and it's like the main hub of the level. It's the central location where people from other villages can come to meet, talk to each other, kind of like a capital city, but not really. The people that live in the town get to do whatever they want because there's no rules or laws, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to talk about the people that actually live here and how they're split up. There's a total of around 25,000 inhabitants of the island that live inside of it, and they live in around 250 groups. But 17,000 of those inhabitants aren't human, which is kind of creepy. They're actually like facelings in a way, but they're not facelings, they're just semi-human. The island itself is around 836,000 miles in size and it's mostly safe to live on except the places outside of the mountains where those strange giant creatures live and the mountains that form the border around the villages are full of caves and caverns that have copper and other metals inside of them and the people that live here can mine those metals to sell the forests on the islands are full of weird trees with wood that's stronger than metal. Pretty much, this place to me sounds like Skull Island from the King Kong movie. Now, the scariest part of the level entry is at the ending because that part says there's a kraken, a giant kraken, that lives deep inside of the oceans of the level. It's supposed to be the size of an island and has only been seen on one of the few successful sea explorations that have happened on the level. And this kraken has been deemed dangerous to the entirety of the backrooms, not just to this level. It could wipe out the entire island with everybody on it with one swipe of a tentacle because it's literally as big as the island. Around the ocean where the Kraken is sleeping, the water is full of whirlpools and stuff like that, and that'll suck any boats into the water if you get close. So the main thing is just avoid the ocean. Actually, avoid this level. As far as other entities go, there aren't any dangerous ones on the inside of the mountains. 
just a bunch of friendly ones that look like normal people, like I said. And since not much is known about the ocean, except the Kraken, no one really knows what lurks deeper in the water. To enter the level, you have to go as far as possible out into level 7 until the sky turns pink, and then you'll appear on some docks in level 29. And as I said earlier, there is no exit that you can go to on the level, but it's somewhere out in the ocean if there is. And every attempt that's been made to find it has failed. So yeah, that was level 29, which might be the level with the biggest population in the backroom so far. I don't know. I know some people don't like the idea of people in the back rooms, but it's whatever. I feel like it fits pretty good in this situation. As always, check out the description below for any links you want or need, like my second channel. I'm trying to get to 50k over there. We're gaining ground on it. Anything helps. I'm also thinking of making a video on some of the All Tomorrow's creatures as the first non-backrooms related video of the Brutally Summer Spectacular. I love creepy stuff like that with lore, and there's so much lore and creatures and stuff with the All Tomorrow's, and if that sounds interesting, I think I'm going to do it. I say give it a chance when it comes out, because it's going to be awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for everything you do for me. The channel's going crazy. Just thank you so much for everything. I appreciate you all. You are the best fans I could ask for. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.